GC here and we're back with a movie review. So if you didn't know, there's actually two Hercules movies this year. The first one came out back in January by the name of The Legend of Hercules, directed by Renny Arlen, and it's from Summit Entertainment. And this one, Hercules, directed by Brett Ratner, coming from Paramount. So the major casting we have is Dwayne Johnson, Ian McShane, Rufus Sewell, Joseph Fennis, Peter Mullen, and John Hurt. Now this movie is actually based on a comic uh, from the publisher Radical Comics and it's written by Steve Moore and drawn by Chris Bolson. There was actually two limited series from Radical Comics about Hercules and this movie is based on the first series named The Thracian Wars. There is controversy behind this as uh, Steve Moore recently passed away and for some reason some trickery of contracts or what have you, whatever the internet is saying, is that this movie will not be giving any money to the Steve Moore family which is pretty sad because I mean you're based it off of a comic written by a dude and you're not giving his family any money whatsoever so that that's just lame so beyond that the story basically it's about Hercules who just completed his 12 legendary labors and now he's moved on and now he's a sword for hire and the king of Thrace hires him to fight a warlord that is threatening the land sort of thing and pretty much that's the entire plot so what did I like about this film well first off Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, actually was a believable Hercules. Like for my youth, Kevin Scarbo is Hercules for me. He's the real life Hercules. No one can top him whatsoever. And The Rock, I mean, he's there, I would say, in the believable factor. But at first when I heard about this project, I was like, huh, The Rock being Hercules? I don't know if I can buy that. But I mean, seeing him on screen, I was like, okay, uh, you make a believable Hercules. And beyond that, expanding on the on the cast, there's this plot point where they play out throughout the film as in, is Hercules really a god, a demigod, or really just a big human? And I really did enjoy that factor as they try to make it as realistic as possible, as in, The Rock has been doing all these labors, but at the same time, he's actually had a team of people who helped him really achieve this goal, as in, he's just a sword for hire, and to make his name as big as possible will help them get more money. And I really like that as they didn't flat out say that he's not a god or he flat out say that he is a god. And that that was kind of fun thing throughout the film. And it was a running, not gag, but running concept that I was like, I'm okay with revisiting from time to time. Because sometimes you have these concepts they keep revisiting that just like let it go or like it's done overkill. And I'm glad that they somewhat did it well in the sense that it wasn't overkill about bringing him up all the time. Beyond that, I would say there's not enough action scenes really to meet my Hercules the Rock sort of vibe. Like I would go, I was going into this movie thinking there's gonna be tons of action. It's gonna be like Scorpion King, badass, badass, badass. And then I found out it was based on a comic, and I was like, okay, I get where they got the story from, because realistically, it, the fact that they got a story was kind of unneeded, really. Because, I mean, everyone's going to be like The Rock, huge. He's going to punch things, he's going to break things, and that's all we need, and action, and action, action. And though I say I like the previous plot point about the team thing, it sort of really drew away from The Rock as well, because they had to split up the action sequence amongst the team, and The Rock did some pretty crazy, epically Hercules stuff, but it wasn't enough. I wanted more actually and then then I got a story and then all this weird stuff as in like this twist here and there this character development and it was just kind of a bore really I wanted just fight 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 I swear if they just made a movie about the 12 labors I would be totally satisfied even with the team aspect for them to make a film based on the 12 labors like they shouldn't have adapted from Hercules the Thracian Wars, it just should have been adapted from the 12 labors. That would have been so much better and so much more action and really, you, you're not going into this movie thinking of story and they actually give you a story. So I was kind of bummed. Not kind of bummed, I was actually really bummed. I was like, what? You could have done so much. Because I mean, when's the last time we had a Hercules film be inside you know, the, the the one we got in January. It's not that big of an order to, to get a good Hercules film, you know? You just need to punch things and just be raw, and that's pretty much all you need for a Hercules film, because our, our expectations are so low for it nowadays. So yeah, plot points, twists here and there, we're just like, oh, didn't need that, didn't want that, so yeah, 
I mean, that's the biggest thing this thing ha has against it, is that this, it was an actual story. And I don't think any audience is going to expect going in for an actual, complete story. As in, like, oh, there's an actual conflict, there's a twist, there's character development trying over here and there, and... Blah. But again, but then again, what do you expect from the dude that brought us X-Men, Last Stand? I mean, Brett Ratner, I don't really expect much from you, though I sort of wished, I was hopeful for this. But, I mean, I'm the only one to blame for having different expectations. Or even having expectations. But so yeah, that's pretty much it. Brock could have pulled off a Hercules for sure. Plot did need that kind of plot. All the cool stuff was all flashbacks. Action scenes weren't that big. And that's pretty much it for this Hercules thing. So if you have seen the movie, let me know what you thought about it below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And we'll discuss, discuss, discuss. And that is all for this movie review of... Hercules.